Welcome to another edition of Chemistry Simplified with me, your host, John Bergman. Today we're going to be doing Zumdahl Chemistry. That's right, the seventh edition. We're in chapter 12, question 25. Question 25 is a rate problem. So it's asking you to determine what is the rate law of a particular equation. The equation is... And they gave you the following information. Now to solve this problem, what you have to do is you have to kind of divide reaction 1 by reaction 2. We're going to call this 1, this 2, and this 3. And you set it up. Now the rate law is going to have the form, if you will. You'll say rate is equal to K times the concentration of NO2 to the X power times Cl2 to the Y power. So the goal of this question is to find what is K what is x and what is y? And actually what you'll do is you'll find x and then y and then k. So what you're going to do is you're going to divide reaction 1 by reaction 2 so that you can cancel out variables. So I'm going to take reaction number 2 and divide by reaction number 1. The reason I do this is that the 0.36 is a larger number and I want to have, I don't want to have like halves and numbers like that. So I'm going to say rate 2, this will be 0 0.10, 0 0.1, I'll just say 0.1 to the x times 0.2 to the y. There's a k here, but you'll see how that cancels out. And I'm going to divide by rate 2. By the way, that equals 0.36. And then I'll say for rate 1, that's equal to k times 0.1 to the x times 0.1 to the y is equal to 0.18. Now, if you look at this more carefully, what you'll discover is that the point 0.1 to the x, regardless of what they are, they're going to cancel. All right? All right? And so what you end up with is point 0.2 divided by point 0.1, or you can say point 0.2 divided by point 0.1 is point 0.2 to the y is equal to point 0.36 divided by point 0.18, which is, of course, 2. All right? Or, or 2, not point 0.2. So you take 2 to the y equals 2, then y equals 1. So now we've determined what y is. We're going to repeat this process now to find out rate number, or to find out y. We can take uh, reaction number 2 and reaction number 3 and repeat the process. I will take 3, if you will, divide by 2. So what I'll do is I'll say... At this point, I do the math again, all right? And 1.45 divided by 0.36 is 4, so 4 is equal to, and if you take uh, the x's, or 0.2 divided by 0.1 is, is going to be 2 to the x. So, of course, 2 squared is x, so we now know x equals 2. Simple? Now, of course, to simply solve, the, to write out the rate expression, you would simply write this. You would write rate is equal to k times the concentration of the NO2 squared times the chlorine to the first power. Now to solve for the value of the K, you simply plug your numbers in, because you now know what the rate is, right? You can take any one of these reactions. So let's say, for example, reaction 3 here. I would plug in 1.45, so I'd write 1.45 is equal to K times point. 2 squared times 0.1, that's from here, or no, it's 0.2, pardon me, 0.2 to the first, and you divide both sides, and you find your rate constant. And so you could take 1.45 divided by 0 0.2 squared divided by 0. When you divide this out, you get 181.2. 2.5 is equal to the rate constant. And that's it, folks. It's a relatively simple problem. Keep in mind you want to divide like reaction 1 by reaction 2, and that gets things to cancel out, the Ks and all these other things. So this has been John Bergman with Chemistry Simplified. We'll see you on the other side.